Success is the ability to go from one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. Truly, today signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge that will enable a person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the completion and recognition rites of Katubig Valley National High School Junior High School Department. To commence, let us give honor to our Philippine national flag as we sing our national anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. An opening prayer led by Mr. Jesse Van D. Tenedero. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, thank you for this special day, and for all the students, parents, teachers, and guests who are assembled here today. May these students feel a sense of achievement and their qualification and great excitement about their future. Thank you for leading them in their learning, for keeping them safe as they studied, and for watching over them and their everyday challenges. We pray that they may all feel proud of this day and enjoy sharing their achievements with family and friends. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they embark on life's great adventure. And may they all continue to live lives of learning and discovery, and in doing so bring great blessings to the world. Lord, we also thank you for our parents who supported their children since day one up to this very moment. To the teachers who stand to be the other parents of these students, Thank you for giving them courage and wisdom for them to be able to perform their duties well. We ask this through the almighty name of Jesus. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the singing of the Deped Northern Samar Division Hymn.
Today is the day that most parents and students have waited for so long in their life. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you Mr. J. Herson J. Acompaniado with honor to give his words of welcome. A blessed day to all. It is my great honor to welcome each and everyone on this most awaited moment of waiting student of Katubig Valley National High School, Junior High School Department. On behalf of Batch 2021, I would like to acknowledge the school administrative and teaching staff headed by our brilliant and ever active public school district supervisor, Dr. Carlos B. Balanquet, our resilient and energetic school head, Dr. Nestor U. Flores, highly proficient teachers, especially to my advisor, Ma'am Lynn Orlasa, my fellow graduates, our supportive parents, and all those who witnessed this event, I welcome you all to this virtual moving up ceremony with the theme, the straightening education amidst COVID-19 pandemic. Today is the day to reap the fruits of our labor. I know all of us today are happy because we have passed another four years of our journey towards our bright future. Passing with applying colors is such a good reward to ourselves for exerting much effort in our studies and to our parents as well for their untiring support. But to those who didn't get such honor, do not forget that whatever you have achieved, it is still a success. Congratulations to all of us and good luck to the next battle that we are about to conquer. Before I end, let me share to you this quotation by Carol Burnett. When you have a dream, you have got to grab it and never let go. Once again, welcome to this virtual moving up ceremony of Batch 2021 of Katubig Valley National High School, Junior High School Department. Let us listen to the messages of our DepEd Secretary, Madame Leonor M. Briones, DepEd Regional Director, Dr. Maria Gemma Mercado Ledesma, our School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Gorgonio G. Diaz, Jr., our Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Carlos B. Balanquet, and our very own School Head, Dr. Albert Nestor U. Flores. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day, wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. 
Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously, not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at the time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug, 
virtually, of course. And each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. 
It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work. You can proceed for further studies. You can help your parents. And you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out. To the world do whatever you want to do god be with you and be sure be assured that all of us love each and every one of you congratulations my warmest greetings and congratulations to the completers and graduates of bats 2021 Today is a significant milestone. This is the moment to celebrate life. The graduation and mobbing up ceremonies are a testimony that tells the world how successful we respond the difficult situation, how we achieve our goals, and how we triumph over the challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. This year's theme, Strengthening Quality Education Amidst COVID-19 Pandemic, articulates our foremost aspiration and a strong desire to provide an enhanced quality basic education to our learners despite uncertainties and disruptions in the education landscape. We remain cognizant that this health crisis changes the way we deliver the knowledge, skills, and desirable values, and other competencies, particularly the most essential learning competencies. To the graduates and completers, my warmest congratulations. Today, you raise a significant milestone in your life successfully. But never settle and take your eyes off your goal. As you embark on the next journey, you will experience setbacks and hindrances that will dampen your unrelenting drive and resolute will to succeed. Embrace a world of great possibilities and the new normal. Go further and explore the uncharted course. Always remember to succeed in a tough, uncertain, 
and fast changing world. You are willing to take a calculated risk, defy convention, and move forward toward your goal. To the parents, my warmest felicitation. I thank you for producing children who have acquired the essential learning experiences and for providing wonderful opportunities to develop their potential amidst pandemic. The unwavering support, altruistic guidance, and constant care that you have given inspired and motivated them to reach this milestone. Continue to nurture and guide them until they have reached their dreams. And still to them once more, the strong passion for learning and the infinite love of wisdom as they venture into the unexplored path of great possibilities. To the teachers, my heartfelt appreciation. You deserve profound gratitude for being entrepid and compassionate in the delivery of basic education opportunities to our students in this difficult time. Your guidance, motivation, and inspiration transform them to be ready, prepared, and confident in facing the challenges in life. To all of you who have been part of the journey and instrumental in the great success of our completers and graduates, congratulations. Again, congratulations and mabuhay. Congratulations 2021 grade 10 completers. I take pride in your achievements today as you receive your certificates of completion which will serve as your passport to a higher step in the educational ladder as you continue to strive and prepare for your rightful places under the sun. We, your teachers and your parents, are so proud of you for in despite of the challenges you faced in this new normal time, still you have came out triumphant and full of vigor and hope for your future. Your teachers and I believe that somehow we were able to instill in you the knowledge, competencies, and skills that will prepare you for the next chapter of your lives and your studies. To all the parents and stakeholders of Katubig Valley National High School, we are out of words to express our deepest and sincere gratitude for your unwavering support and commitment to the school and to the education of your children. All of us are really affected by this health crisis, but somehow, because of our diligence and commitment to educate our learners, we still manage to deliver what is expected of us. To the achievers, congratulations! And may you be inspired more to strive harder as you embark on your journey in the senior high school. As you will be leaving the portals of your alma mater who have nurtured and cared for you for four years, do not forget the values, ideals, and the norms that it has instilled in each of you. Always remember, wherever you may go, Whatever you may do, you are bringing the name of your alma mater. Your humble institution will always take pride in all your achievements and will be saddened when any of you will fail. Time and again, we always hear the adage which goes this way, it takes a village to educate a child. This came into my mind as it is really what we have experienced and have done during this school year where all of us have exerted efforts and have done our share 
in the achievement and completion of our learners. Let us be proud, for indeed and truly, we have lived up to the part of the Deep Ed's vision, where it says, family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Before I end my message, may I take this opportunity to once again appeal to you, our parents and stakeholders, that as we once more face another challenging school year, may your support and commitment to the school and the education of our children be enhanced and fortified so that we will be able to achieve our mission, vision, and goal that of providing basic quality education to our children. Again, my congratulations. May we continue to work hand in hand all for our children and for the greater glory of our Almighty. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. To formally recognize our junior high school completers for the school year 2020-2021, here is our school head, Dr. Albert Nestor U. Flores, for the presentation. It is my honor and privilege to present to you 205 boys and 253 girls to be certified for completion. This, sir, have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed under the STVEP curriculum. By the authority vested in me by the Secretary of the Department of Education, as the school's division superintendent, and having been presented with a grade chairman and duly certified by the school principal that you have completed the basic requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the Key 212 Basic Education Curriculum, I now confirm you completers for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations! Ladies and gentlemen, Let's hear the message of our guest speaker, Engineer Horace Odosis Ariales. Dr. Carlos B. Balangkit, District Supervisor, Katubig District 1. Dr. Albert Nistorio Flores, Head Teacher 3, Katubig Valley National High School. Mr. Jubin P. Hagunoy, the Active Department Head. Our beloved Master Teachers, Teachers, faculty, staffs, their parents, guests, graduates, good afternoon. I'm very honored to have been invited to speak here today to join you on your prestigious event. Thank you. To all the graduates, congratulations. Well done. Another milestone of your lives has been accomplished. To all the proud parents and family members, I salute you for good upbringing and ending support and guide through this process. I'm sure you're very proud of your graduates as they conquer another part of their lives and prepare for the next system. To all the teachers that has been part of these students' journeys, thank you for a job well done. Despite the huge impact of pandemic, we still managed to successfully relieve these students towards their next journey. Graduation is one of those steps in life that defines of moving onto a new stage. I'm sure many of you have already an idea of what's coming next. Some of you are excited, amazed, and dreaming for your expected future. The most important thing that you need to have 
is to stand in the situation that we had is determination since I was a child I wanted to become a successful civil engineer I graduated passed my board exam and acquired position as a civil engineer madami ang nagsasabi na yayaman ako sa pagiging engineer ko ngunit para sa akin ang pera ay hindi mahalaga kundi upang makalikong ng karanasan at matuto ng higit pa sa larangan ng pinili kong profesyon. I have big plans for my life. Everyone aspires for a good position in a given opportunity and time. I want to build my own house and family pero hindi lahat ng plano mo sa buhay ay nasusunod. You will all experience the highs and lows of life. Ang iyong totoong tagumpay ay matutukoy sa pamamagitan na kung paano mo harapin ang mga ito. I experience failures and several rejections. But this made me realize that there are better opportunities. And pers perseverance always pay off. I was employed several times but there was a certain extent that I have to quit and to obtain a more challenging rule. I was given opportunity to travel and assigned on different nations due to my profession and eagerness to learn and challenge myself. We Filipinos are in demand around the world. We are praised not only that we are hardworking, but responsible, dependable, and most of all, multitasking. It's been seven years since I graduated my, from college, and things have greatly changed since then. Dealing with the unforeseen challenges caused by the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic has taken a huge impact across the world. It has created the largest disruption in our education system. This has challenged both the teachers and students due to temporary closures of schools where the face-to-face -face teachings has been discontinued. Kalidugad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Marami sa atin ang naghirap, nawala ng trabaho, nagutom, nawala ng mahal sa buhay, at patuloy pang pinapahirapan dahil sa epekto itong pandemya. Pero sa gitna ng kinakaharap nating unos, andito tayo ngayon nagdiriwang ng pagtatapos ng school year 2020 to 2021. Naging mahirap sa atin ngayon ang ipagpatuloy ang edukasyon habang humaharap sa nangyayaring pandemya sa ating bansa. Kinailangan ng may sudyante na malayo sa kanilang mga guro habang nagpapatuloy sa kanilang pag-aaral gamit ang modular at virtual learning system. Kinailangan din ng mga bata ang suporta ng mga magulang sa kanilang pag-aaral. May mga magulang na pansamantalang tumigil sa trabaho para lamang matulungan at mapaglaanan ng oras ang mga mudyol na pinag-aaralan ng kanilang mga anak. At nakita natin ang sakripisyo ng mga guro sa paggawa nila ng mga PowerPoint presentation para sa virtual learning at mudyol naman para doon sa mga estudyante na walang computer laptop. Kasama dyan ang paghahatid ng mga guro sa mga malalayong lugar para masiguro na maibibigay nila ang pag-aaralan ng mga estudyante sa tamang oras. At sa mga estudyante, lagi natin pahalagahan at isipin ang sakripisyo ng mga guro at ating mga magulang sa panahon ngayon. Suklian natin ito ng pagsisikap at pagpursig, pagpupursige na matuto. Dahil yun lamang ang susi para makamit natin ang kalidad na karunungan kahit pa sa panahon ng pandemya. Alam kong mahirap ang mag-aral sa sitwasyon natin ngayon. Malaking tulong din kasi 
yung makikita mo at makakausap pang iyong mga kaklase, kaibigan, patungkol sa inyong mga pinag-aaralan. Nakakamiss ang group studies at yung mga magtutulungan kayo na gawin ang mga group projects na binibigay ng mga guru. Sa mga guru at magulang, maraming salamat sa inyo. At sa mga magtatapos, naging matagumpay ang taon ng inyong pag-aaral ngayon. Hindi naging hadlang itong pandemya para ituloy ang inyong pag-aaral. Naging malaki ang pagbabago sa ating mundo simula nung tumama itong pandemya. Ngunit mas malaki ang naging aral nito sa ating lahat. Natuto tayong maging matatag at lumaban sa kinakaharap natin ng mga suliranin. Lahat tayo walang mayalam kung kailan magwawakas itong unos na patuloy na sumusubok sa katatagan ng bawat tao. Pero tuloy ang buhay, tuloy ang pagtupad sa mga gumuhong pangarap, tuloy ang pagbangon, at tuloy ang pagbibigay karunungan para sa mga susunod pang mga henerasyon. Humingi tayo lagi ng gabay sa ating mahal na Panginoon na bigyan pa tayo ng malakas, malusog na pangangatawan at mailayo sa sakit para makasama pa natin ng matagal ang ating mga mahal sa buhay. Patuloy tayong magtulungan para makabangon at makabalik sa dati nating buhay noong wala pa itong pandemya. Sa mga mag-aaral, Binabati ko kayong lahat sa iyong pagtatapos ngayong taon. Binabati ko din ang mga guro at mga magulang na naging bayani ng edukasyon sa gitna ng pandemya. At sana makamit din natin ngayong taon ang pagtatapos ng hamon ng pandemya sa ating buhay. Maraming salamat sa sakripisyo ng aking mga magulang at sa pagpapalaki sa aming magkakapatid ng maayos at may takot sa Diyos. At higit sa lahat, maraming salamat sa mga mahal natin, Panginoon. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the Academic Excellence Awardees of the Junior High School Completers for the school year 2020-2021. With high honors, congratulations, Osal Gabriel Gregory Gonzaga, Grade 10 F. Amarsolo. With honors, congratulations, Acompañado J. Herson Haro, Grade 10 F. Amarsolo. Asibuche Mary Jane Gallet, Grade 10 C. Cabrera. Acedera Denise Ann Sending, Grade 10 F. Aquino Acedera Jenemy Nungay, Grade 10 A. Roses Acedera Keisha Angela Limboy, Grade 10 A. Roses Ako Jan Nicole Baluyot, Grade 10 A. Benaventura Ako Jessamine Adato Adahar Myrene B, Grade 10 A. Molina Adamero Maria Elena Ronato, Grade 10 A. Molina Adarayan Riza Urvas, Grade 10 C. Legaspi Balandit Sherry Ann Orbita, Grade 10 C. Cabrera Balanda Roy Anthony Yodico, Grade 10 C. Legaspi Baldoza Serene Andrea Valila, Grade 10 C. Legaspi Balikud Kud Christine Olares, Grade 10 V.S. Almario, Becunia John Paul Rosanto, Grade 10 F. Amor Solo, Brincola Sandara Fumar, Grade 10 F. Amor Solo, Bulagnir Shelani Javier, Grade 10 V.S. Almario, Kabagtong Ronilin Eruma, Grade 10 F. Aquino, Kabinian Kathleen Babila, Grade 10 F. Amor Solo Serbito Mariela Biconia Grade 10 C. Romulo Corporal Anive Estudillo Grade 10 C. Romulo Danke Shania Ishe 
Grade 10 VS Almario Danke Shania Rain Grade 10 VS Almario The Asses Alison Hirai Grade 10 C Romulo The Asses Clifford Cyrus Tinidero Grade 10 A Buenaventura The Asses Roseville Turbanada Grade 10 F Aquino Dilaw Aliona Abayon Grade 10 C Romulo Dula Cristel Jasmine Molera Grade 10 A Buenaventura Dula Lyra Bulagnir Grade 10 A Buenaventura Dula Nicole Angela Borja Grade 10 C Cabrera Ikaranon Vanessa Tamayo Grade 10 C Legaspi Inopia Mia Turla Grade 10 VS Almario Studilio Irwin Miral Grade 10 C Romulo Estudilio Lea Ornada Grade 10 C Romulo Feliciano Generos Tenedero Grade 10 A Roses Gologabin Jayame Plata Grade 10 A Buenaventura Gologabin Judith Sua Gologabin King Tenedero Grade 10 C Cabrera Gonzaga Marimar P Grade 10 A Molina Guliab Mark Anthony Linao Grade 10 C Legaspi Legarsi Vince Roloyan Grade 10 VS Almario Laverita Princess Mitch Ariales Lucero Mary Jane Gallet Grade 10 F Aquino Malate Jocelyn Ronato Grade 10 F Amor Solo Medanilia Janeline Balando Grade 10 C Cabrera Melendres Marceline Balicuas Grade 10 C Cabrera Mendez Mary Grace Robiato Grade 10 G Tolentino Meralio Venus Impon Grade 10 A Buenaventura Mercado Angel Alico Grade 10 A Roses Mortifiro Abigail Ortiz Navarro Sean Michael Quiles Grade 10 F Aquino Norcia Ramelin Formaran Grade 10 F Aquino Osino Joshua Rabinisha Grade 10 C Romulo Ortiz Benjamin Ultra Grade 10 F Aquino Artoniro Bernadette Martinito Grade 10 A Roses Pajares Sheena Valerie Mercado Grade 10 A Buenaventura Paragas Jake Tenedero Patiam Ashley Nicole de Aces Grade 10 A Buenaventura Pidimonte Marisa Balando Pujante Joshua Jen Robiano Grade 10 C Romulo Pulgado Juliana May Cadilena Grade 10 F Amor Solo Kimbo John Paul Benedict Opiniano Grade 10 F Aquino Rotamola Arvin Moratalia Grade 10 C Legaspi Tagaban Alexandra Policarpio Grade 10 F Amor Solo Taihon Franceline Ambal Grade 10 G Tolentino Tenedero Sofia Servito Grade 10 C Cabrera Tubelio Mariani Fumar Grade 10 F Amor Solo Tubelio Patricia May Santos Grade 10 F Amor Solo Uy Mark Joshua Villaflor Chelsea Faith Perez Grade 10 A Molina Villa Matter Alexi Chris Francesca Medici Zebala Jeru Nathaniel Rubinisha Grade 10 A Buenaventura
A message from Mr. Gabriel Gregory Gonzaga Osal with high honors. Our honored guest, school principal, to our supportive teachers, faculty and staff, parents, friends and classmates, a pleasant day to everyone. It is an honor and privilege to be able to represent the graduating class of school year 2020-2021. I might say that it has been a tough yet an amazing adventure to all of us. I know that our batch has a unique approach in today's educational setting. As the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted everyone's life and has taken a huge chunk of our day-to-day -day school life, but I think it taught us a valuable lesson to adapt, to rely on each other more than ever, to find strength in what we have, and to do our best where we are all right now. We have developed friendship to one another and held each other's arm to this journey. To my friends, thank you for the laughter, tears, and hardship we shared. May we keep all those memories we have as we move on to a different path. To my teachers, I am grateful to all of you for doing your best in supporting us students and also to the struggles you had to go through this modular learning. May you always have the strength and patience you need in everything you do. And yes. to our ever supported and proud parents, thank you for the love, guidance, and support. May you continue inspiring us to do more in this journey. To my ever-loving mother who has always been there since day one up until now, who has been my other hand in everything I do, who has been my inspiration and support system. Thank you so much for giving me the best that you could and for not giving up on me. I promise to strive harder and to go extra mile, but you never stop believing on me. To my aunt who is always there, ready to help me with my studies and run all of my errands despite being busy all the time, thank you. To the graduating class of 2021, congratulations to all of us students. I wish you all the best. I'm sure all of us are bound for great things ahead. To our Almighty Father, I thank God for giving me such an opportunity and all of the strength I need in achieving my dreams. To everyone who are here today, thank you and have a nice day. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mr. Juven P. Hagonoy, Head Teacher 1, Department Head, in his closing remarks. It is with great pleasure and admiration that I convey my best wishes and profound felicitations to all the completers and academic awardees of Katubig Valley National High School Junior High School Department for school year 2020-2021. This day represents the golden times of reaching higher education. Moving up ceremonies like this are the much-awaited events in the life of every learner achieving dreams and aspirations. It has been a year of extraordinary hard work, dedication, and passion. Finishing the school year during these trying times of COVID-19 pandemic is remarkable since it has been inevitable to face and accept the new normal landscape of education. My dear completers, you have just marked another significant milestone in your continued quest for excellence. Stay focused and always remember that your dream is within reach when you are determined and committed. Certainly, more challenges will still come your way. I hope that this unique experience have taught you meaningful lessons that you can bring with you whenever destiny leads you in the future. Beloved parents, the insistent motivation and support you extended towards the seemingly thorny road to success have pitched into this day of your children's completion rights. Please accept our heartfelt gratitude. Thank you for being an effective an efficient partner of Katubig Valley National High School and the DEPED in the implementation of distance learning. Your indefatigable support is a deeper reflection of the unconditional love you bestowed to the learners through the years. Truly, 
we have lived up to our deep end vision where family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Finally, with this joyful celebration of your completion, it is with confidence to say that you have given our theme for this year, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic, a very special meaning. Congratulations. May you be inspired more to strive harder in your next journey. Mabuhay po tayong lahat.